We will preserve our unique ability to project power and deter threats to peace. And we will constantly strengthen our capabilities to meet the needs of the 21st century. The United States is a Pacific power, and we are here to stay. Hey, I got a guy here. Come here, sir, come to me. On the ground, on the ground, on the ground. Get on the ground. Hey, pull the... Get on the... Yeah, you're sad in the back. It's been called the rebalance, or the pivot to the Pacific. Whatever you call it, it starts right here. After years of focusing on the mountains of Afghanistan, in 2013, the Army reopened the Jungle Operations Training Center at the Lightning Academy. It's going to fall apart on you, so put them back down. 25th Infantry Division Lightning Academy. It's the troop and soldier school for the division. The Army itself hasn't done much in the jungle since the end of the Vietnam War, a war that took soldiers from defined battle lines to a place where those lines were erased. We are going to be asked in this region, like we have historically, to be able to operate in those areas that have mountainous jungle environments. They're in the islands. They're in the chains of land and water and people that are out in places like Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand, Brunei, Bangladesh, the Philippines. I could go on and on. Some of the uh, modern methods we teach students is a uh, nine volt battery and steel wool. The reason we teach the nine volt battery is every soldier is gonna have a nine volt battery on them. Uh, we use it for uh, marking at night and different various reasons. It charges or gives power to a lot of the optics that we use also. Um, the nine volt battery, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna touch it to steel wool. It's gonna oxidize the steel wool and get a small ember going. I'm gonna nurse it by blowing into it to keep the embers going. So a demonstration how it's gonna look. A lot of our cadre from Lightning Academy have gone to the jungle schools in the countries that I just did the pathways. You know, you really get a good feel on if you go through the JOTC here or the Lightning, Lightning Academy, you're kind of getting a reconnaissance done for your guys because not only can they share, you know, kind of the technical, tactical aspects of jungle operations, which two of the countries specifically, but they can give you a cultural feel too. Now the pathways Colonel Williams is talking about is actually called Pacific Pathways, and it's changing how we train and deploy. In the past, platoons would participate in individual exercises and head home after a few weeks. Instead, Pathways sends entire brigades out for 90 days, visiting several different countries and different exercises. My battalion was able to go through multiple reps of mission command, deploy, redeploy. In a 90-day period, I had to pack up load the ship again, land somewhere, download the ship, enter the country, build combat power, and then do the exercise. So if you think of this 90-day window, I actually deployed the battalion four separate times. Even though their main mission is to train, the presence of these soldiers also gives the Army boots on the ground, ready to go for any real-world contingency operations, because we never know what tomorrow may bring or what we might have to face.